Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, and I'm on a deadline today. <laughs> I've got an alarm that's going to go off in just under an hour. And uh, I'm going to have to take, oh, 52 minutes. I'm going to have to take the beef out of the oven then. In fact, I might have to go just before then. But I don't normally take 52 minutes, but this is a galactic uh, spirals puzzle. So, oh dear. I think it's going to be very interesting, very touch and go whether I can get it done in 50 minutes. In fact, probably not. And it's by Blobs. Now, I think I have, well, I thought I had accused Blobs of being British in the past and then found out that he's not. However, I looked it up on a past email and I found out Blobs and his brother grew up in the UK and then moved to America. So I wasn't far wrong. Or maybe I was even right. Anyway, um, that is global movement. But what Blobs is providing us today is a galactic map. We are going to get a map of galaxies. I'll go through the rules in a minute. Um, if you haven't seen one of these galaxy spiral puzzles, be ready to have your mind blown. They are great fun, but they are pretty complicated too. Uh, we've got some fabulous star mapping going on in the, the map of the heavens here. So really looking forward to grappling with that. Um, actually, I think the beef was bigger than I thought. So it's going to take longer to cook. So maybe I've got a little more time. Anyway, enough, enough said about my, my cooking exploits, which, uh, which only my family actually have to suffer in the end. Let us talk instead about what is coming up in two days' time on Patreon, which is the new Snack Doku Sudoku Hunt. Um, 100 puzzles. We've never asked you to solve 100 puzzles before, but we actually think this will be quicker than almost all of the last five or six uh, Patreon rewards for you, because they're all four by four. They are by some of the best authors on the planet. Um, many of whom are connected with the Sudoku Skunk Works. And we just, it's just a brilliant set. Give it a try when it comes out. Join us on Patreon if you haven't before. Um, there's always extra content. I'll be putting up a crossword video at some point, for instance. Simon has done one or two extraordinary solves of Sudokus that are on Patreon as well. Long, long popcorn fests. Um, and of course, there's all our apps. You will have lots of time to spare over the holidays, I'm sure. You will want our apps to while away um, a few pleasant moments in reflecting on logical mysteries. And uh, do, do check them out because they're great. There's also our holiday merchandise if you're still stuck for presents. There is um, Sven Sudoku Pad and check it all out, all on the links under the video. But the first one is to Blobs' Galactic Map. And the rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we will be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Divide the grid into galaxies. These are orthogonally connected groups of cells that have 180 degree rotational symmetry about their centers, which are marked with a small dot. So I will just show you an example. This could be a galaxy because it has 180 degree rotational symmetry. If you rotate that halfway around the grid, it looks the same. It's centered on a small dot. Now, the extra rules are that all cells in the puzzle must be part of a galaxy. No galaxies overlap, so we're dividing the whole grid into these galaxies. Gray dots mark Renban galaxies. Now, I haven't seen this before. Those with two or more cells whose digits form an unbroken consecutive sequence in any order. White dots, they're the opposite in this case, mark galaxies of either a single cell or whose digits don't form a sequence. Digits may not repeat within a galaxy. That is a very important rule. That is going to make galaxies like killer cages in that they can't have repeats within them. Um, as per galactic map standards, I don't, I'm not familiar with galactic map standards, but here we go. All galaxies with at least two cells indicate their smallest digit with a diamond icon. Okay, so that galaxy wouldn't have worked. There's no diamond in it. it we could expand it to be that size, and then it would have a diamond in. And that diamond would have the smallest digit in the galaxy. Now, this still wouldn't work because all galaxies with at least 
Six cells indicate their largest digit with a circle icon. Now we expanded this galaxy to be seven big, we need to get a circle in it. So we could put that one in. And it, the galaxy could look like that. And that would be a valid galaxy with the smallest digit there and the largest there. Wow. Okay, I mean, this is monstrous. But, okay, I shouldn't have started this with a time-bound issue. I imagine I'll be interrupting this video later on. Let's give it a try, though. Do give it a try on the first link under the video. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What I want to do before I start is go back to yesterday's puzzle. Right, I got to this point yesterday and then I complete, I mean, I think I said that the green cells, the, the green cages, which had to add up to the same number and that number had to be prime. I calculated that this number now had to be 9, 10, 11, 12 or 13 and announced out loud as though I was sane that 11 was the only prime digit there. It wasn't. 13 is another prime digit. However, I was lucky. 13 couldn't have worked because there has to be a 2 in these two cells. And then the other two cells in that cage would have to be 5 and 6 in yesterday's puzzle. And that cell can't be 5 or 6. So I could instantly have ruled out 13, but I didn't do it. So an apology to... Um, to, what's the name, holds an atom, an apology to you, and when you spot the logical mistakes in today's soul, feel free to post them underneath the video, and I will learn again from my mistakes. But let's get cracking. Okay, so we have got, what have we got? We've got galaxies, galaxy centers on the edge. Okay, I am going to this is the equivalent of good lifting for, um, for galaxy puzzles, perhaps. I am going to colour these galaxies as differently as we can really sanely get them. I'm going to try and avoid galaxies of the same colour bumping into each other, but every galaxy centre is given. Every, every uh, cell in the puzzle is in a galaxy. Let's make that blue, we'll get orange, bright blue, let's have another bright green. Um, obviously there are risks that some of these galaxies will bump into each other. Oh, we've got a huge one there. Okay, so, um, grey, obviously. Right, oh no, there's another galaxy up here. So I must have, oh no, 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 we're still not finished even when I've done that one because we've got another one in the corner. Let's make that orange again. Okay, so we can start in this corner because this galaxy is bounded both on its west and south side. So you can always replicate those boundaries on the opposite compass side. So let's put in a north and east border. And that galaxy is a one cell galaxy. That it is the white dot, that's appropriate. It's the only given digit, which is a seven. And we've found one galaxy already. Now this one, I think, is similar actually. It's got a west and south border already. In fact, let's draw in all the given borders. Um, and, 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 and. Ah, yeah, okay, there's more, there's more opposites that I can do. So if I do the opposites of every... There's, there's also the perimeter cells bounding some galaxies, so I can draw in the opposite side of them. That's the opposite side of that boundary. And these must be bona fide boundaries. Now, we've got red on the right, so we can do red on the left. Sorry, I'm swapping between east, west, left and right, willy-nilly because I'm just like that. Ah, now this green one, we can do those two as well because of the boundaries we already had. Right, so there's a start to our map. Uh, and this yellow cell I was looking at, I think that has to have its boundaries replicated. There's literally nowhere it can go and have the 180 degree um, functionality, so, or rotational rotation ability. So that is a, a galaxy on its own as well. 
Now we're going to have to find some cells that we can attribute to galaxies, I reckon. Or, or we could use these rules. Right, this green region here has got a circle in it, so it has to be at least six big. And therefore it has to extend by at least two cells to the north side. Now there's a fair amount of room there, but at least two cells to the south side. So we can paint those green. They must be in this galaxy. We can do a few more borders, which we can match at the top. Then we can color these green. And we've got a border at the edge of the grid that I can put paste in there. And this cell, yeah, we know this can't be green because we've got a border between those two cells, which is replicating that border. So this can't be on its own because it's not got a circle. So it must be part of the bright blue below it. And we've now completed the bright blue region or galaxy. That has isolated this orange cell as its own separate galaxy. In fact, maybe, maybe I will change colors so that it might help later in the grid if we have galaxies of the same size in the same color or something. I don't know. I, might, I may abandon that or I may continue it. Now, what I'm also going to point out is this galaxy, this green one that we've already got six of, it could extend to those cells, but it can't go beyond that because then it would get up to 10 cells and they couldn't all be different Sudoku digits. Nine is the maximum galaxy size, and that is definitely worth bearing in mind. I thought of that when doing the rules, but I didn't mention it at that point. Um, so, what else could this cell be part No, what else could this cell be part of? Couldn't be part of that because its reflection cell would be outside the grid. It can't be part of that because its reflection cell would be there in a different galaxy. Um, it can't be part of this because that would require too many cells. We'd get over 10. I'm wondering about this. I suppose you could have that as a 9. And it would have the circle in that it would need. Interesting. Okay, so I can't quite decide what galaxy this cell goes in yet. Now, what about this one? Right, I, I think I've got this one down. This has to be part of purple. It has to join up to something because it's not got a dot already. It can't join up to this because its reflected cell would be outside the grid. And there's nothing... It's not allowed to be green because we've got a border there. So it must be part of purple. And then we can paint it in purple there. That gives us a border between grey and purple that we can replicate on the other side of grey. Um, I can also replicate this as a border. And now this cell, I suppose it's probably grey, but it could be red. There's even a way for it to be purple, I think, over here. So don't know about that. Uh, okay. This cell could be part of green. It couldn't be part of blue because its, its opposite cell would bring a second diamond into play. Could be part of yellow. That's all, I think. And it would fix yellow at that as that shape or it would fix green as that shape. These perimeters, this one only has two possibilities either Oh no, it can't be just two cells big, because any galaxy of two cells or more has a diamond in it, and there's no diamond there. So that has to expand, and that's all it can do, given the rotational symmetry. So that one's finished. Yeah, that's how to use this. Oh, this one I didn't color, sorry. There we go. The grey cell was in the middle there. Yeah, I'm looking for diamonds. This needs a diamond, doesn't it? probably has to be this one. But not certainly. It could be that. I think it would be bounded like that if this diamond was red. Ah, actually, the other question is, what other colour 
Could this diamond be? What other galaxy could that be in? Can't be in there, it's opposites here. If it was there, that seems, well, maybe that is just possible. A shape like that for the galaxy. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it, reluctantly. Um, this cell could be part of that blue. Now, I haven't thought about the circles much. Is it circles or a lack of circles that matters more, I wonder? I just don't know. This circle could be grey, could be purple, could be dark blue. I do sense we're going to try and map the whole galaxy of the universe before we start putting numbers in this puzzle. That's, that's a feeling. And it might be wrong, but I kind of think we need, we're going to need to know the shapes and size sizes of the regions before we can start attributing any numbers to this puzzle at all. Oh, I could put a line in there opposite that one, which is a region boundary. Um, right, this diamond, what shape is that in? What galaxy center? uses that. Not this one, it's already got its own diamond. Same is true for these, they're not involved. Not this one, it's got its own diamond. It can't get to that one. It can't use that one because the opposites would be outside the grid. I think this has to be purple. So they're all in the same colour. Then we can do a tiny bit more Shading. Ah, which has got quite interesting. This is now not red. But red needs a diamond. Ah! Red's diamond is going to be this one after all. Which I was about to rule out. This can't be a red diamond now. That's right. That matter... Yeah, okay. That's solid. So that's all red. It's probably bounded there. Yes, it is. You can't add any more cells to that shape. So, red is a staircase galaxy in the southwest. Now, this diamond is part of blue, and blue is bounded and finished there. And that's exciting, because it's finished off purple. It's, this cell is going to have to become green, bright green, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, not a circle. It's going to become bright. I can't even get my colours thing right. But green now be did become 8 big, which is probably going to be useful later. Um, OK, that's good. That's got a lot of the bottom of the grid done. Now, what is that? this cell going to be in? I don't think it's going to be in purple, is it? Oh, maybe. That is a possible shape. That's very annoying. OK. Actually, that would work quite well with grey. Green would be uh, possibly bounded. OK, that is possibly purple. The alternative for this cell is that it's blue. And that... No. No, that's interesting. This can't be blue. Because that shape would be bounded, and it would be a four-cell region with a circle in. Well, the circles are only in six-cell and above regions. So this can't be blue. It's got to be purple. So that shape I just postulated is spot on. So let's put in its borders. And it's nine cells big, so that's going to be an important shape when it comes to um, numbering. We've cut off that dark blue one. What's this in? It can't be in that shape, because it couldn't have an opposite. It would be outside the grid. So it must be bright green. Must be, mustn't it? Yeah, it's not necessarily finished at bright green. In fact, I think we've got exactly the same issue with this circle, just as it couldn't go south. I don't think it can go in that shape, because that would be bounded there too. So this must be in green. 
green is then eight big and it's got a its central dot is in between two cells so it can't be nine big so it's complete now light bright blue is complete up there we've got a new yellow shape having taken taken shape taken form in the left this cell has to be gray there's nothing else it can glom onto so that's gray and that's bounded that is a six cell shape in the middle now I've just got the northeast of this galaxy map to complete looked at this corner cell before and just deemed that it could be let's not let's change this from green because it's about to suddenly bump into other colors isn't it let's make that red for now well it could be on its own it's either a one cell or a three cell galaxy okay this circle where's that got its center oh that's very obvious that's got to be blue and that's quite exciting that's got to be a six cell plus region um, I bet it's going to take this cell because that can't be part of any of these galaxies either so that's blue too that's going to fill in these as blue and now blue is at least seven cells big could be two in fact what's that that's blue as well so here's blue blue is now complete I'm starting to get a bit worried I'm going to get some see that something is wrong here in a moment uh, no, I don't see why not. Why why this can't work? Those are all yellow, and that's complete. Red is now bounded off, so I'm going to change its color to. Although I haven't thought about these other sizes and colors. That's orange. These are bright blue, and that is the map. Excellent. Now, is it worth changing the colors so that shapes of the same size are the same color? I've got all the one cells as orange I it's it's probably not going to actually be relevant is it because I'm going to have nine cell shapes touching each other and I wouldn't want that in the same color so I'm just going to go with it as it is now in fact let's get rid of the pen tool for now because now I'm going to do numbers. Right, I'm going to start in the nine cell shapes where it's got to help to know that the minimum digit has a, tri a diamond. That's got to be a one. And in a nine cell shape, the maximum digit is a nine. And there we go. We've got to start on those numbers. This is an eight cell shape. Ah, oh, well, this has to be a two now. It can't be a one. So that's a two. The circle is a nine again. Oh, and I, I'm sorry. What is quite important is... Ah, the, sorry, I was advised to do something. I don't know if it's going to make a lot of difference. Use the dashed grid method. I should have done this before, sorry, but I didn't. That is available in, in the uh, settings. Yes, sorry, what I was remembering is we still have three by three boxes. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so they are going to matter. And uh, given the colouring on the grid, they're a little harder to discern now than in the normal puzzle. Ah, look, we've got a one there and a one there. One of these three in this three by three box is a one. Well, it's got to be the smallest in its group. And this, yes, remember, the grey dots mark Renban galaxies. Oh, I could have used that here, actually. Anyway, this is now a Renban galaxy with a 1 in. So it must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is in the high cell, and the others, I'm going to fully pencil mark, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the rest of box 5, we've got to place 6, 7, and 8. And let's find other Renban galaxies. There's this red one down here. This one, it doesn't actually help us to know because we already established this was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got 2 in the top. Right, so there is a 1 in this row and therefore there is a region with 1, 2, 3, 4 in. There is a 9 in this row, so there's a region with 9, 8, 7, 6 in. 5 will always slip into the 5 cell cage. 
And these diamonds, in one cage, well, for this one, it's either a one or a six as the lowest of a four cell cage. And in this one, it's either a one or a five as the lowest of a five cell cage. That's weird juxtaposition. Now, are there any other... One in this box is in one of those two cells, one of the diamonds, very unsurprisingly. One... Yeah, okay, one... Obviously can't be here because of that one, so it must be in a diamond in this box as well. One... Oh, it could be here, or in a diamond down here. No, it couldn't, because look, we haven't got a one in row eight yet, anywhere. None of those cells can be a one by virtue of the rules pertaining, well, not in that case, but in all the others, the rules pertaining. So one of those is a one. Um, these can't be ones because that's the lowest number in the region. That one could be, and otherwise one in box three is in the diamond. Ah, but I bet one of these has to be a one, yes. You can't have a one anywhere in green there because there's no diamond. Those can't be ones because of the diamonds in their region. Right, so one of those is a one. That's not a one. Orange is a one, a single cell one. That is a one now, and this one isn't. Um, and then we've got this. Well, we start with that pair. Then that comes this pair, this pair, and then that pair. And I'm kind of stuck with ones, but... That was useful. Now what do we think about next? Don't know, it could be geometry or it could be... It could be just positioning nines and ones. I mean, that's likely to be a nine. Remember, these white dots don't mean cropky things. They are just galaxy centers. But nine could also be in those cells. Yeah, the circles are less useful. That is the highest circle. And it can't be a seven. So in this cage, it is six, eight, or nine. Now, this is a, a Renban cage. So that's a sequence of six digits. So this must be either one, three, or four, I reckon. Yeah, I don't know. This should be should be a bit easier at this point. I'm probably just not thinking very clearly about how to solve this. This green doesn't have a one in it. It needs all the other digits. And those, yeah, there is a sort of set thing here. Those three digits must be these in box four that are not green that are not green in this box and that are not one. So that digit is the same as that. Is that? It doesn't really help at the moment. How's my timer doing? Still got 24 minutes. Okay, good. Now there's a nine there and a nine there. One of these two is a nine. Um, that is an eight or a nine. No, 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 no. This is a region which has got a white dot. So somewhere the sequence is broken. It's not a Renban sequence. That can't be an eight, or this would be a Renban cage. So that is a nine. Yeah, that's clever. Um, what can we do with that? I don't know. If there's a six in green, it has to be there because that sees every other green cell that isn't already filled. Nine in one of those two. We don't know if this needs a nine. Ah, oh, we do. Where does nine go in this box? Not in purple, which has already had its nine. Not there, which is the lowest digit, well, which sees a nine. So it's in one of these three cells. The highest one is this circle. Now we know that this Renban cage is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a four in its diamond. I think that's going to finish off our ones in the grid. 
including a one here, rather strangely, not there. And what, this is now a six. This is the one. So this is the one, two, three, four, five cage. These cells are seven, eight, nine. In fact, that must be eight in the corner. It's looking down on a seven and a nine. This is a Renban cage. Um, I wish that helped. This is a two, three, four, five cage. Now, that's going to have some impact on this, which is also a Renban cage. So, this now can't be two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, or even four, five, six, seven. So, it's either five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. In fact, where is nine in this box? Just by Sudoku now, it's got to be there. So this is a six, seven, eight, nine cage. That's six. This is a seven, eight pair. Excellent. Right. Where's six in this nine cell dark blue cage? We've got six there ruling out those two. And that six rules out everything in box two. So six is there. Another seven, eight pair. What are the odds we're going to be coloring sevens and eights at some point? Quite good. That's two, three, four or five. Now, are we doing nines or sixes? Let's do nines. Nine, nine, one of those two. No, it's got to be that one is a nine. Nine can't be there because of the diamond, and that one says it can't be there. Oh, these are five, six, seven, and eight. That's known. Those two can't be six because of that, and they can't be seven and eight because of that, so one of them, well, they can't both be seven and eight. One of them is a five. Five is not in those cells. This is now a five, seven, eight triple. We've got two, three, and four to place in the column. This one can't be a two in green. So, a bit more progress. Six is in one of these. In fact, this purple cage has now got nine, eight, seven, one in it. It needs a four because it's nine cells. That four says the four has to be in the center of the galaxy. These are then a two, three, five, six set and that is an eight. Now there's no eight in those cells. This is a five seven pair. We're not going to color sevens and eights because we're finding out well about some of them. That's a six. Can't have a six in those cells. Let's take out the corner mark there. One of these is a six and that's a six and that puts six in the corner. Still got a lower digit. That's okay. Um, how are sixes doing? Oh, so we've only got six of them done, ironically. But where's six in this column? I think we can do that. It's got to be here. Now, let's think about this green cage. It's now got nine, two, and six in. Right, where's four in the green cage? We know the constituents of the green cage. are. It's a Renban cage, so they are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four can't be in those cells because of this, so it's there. Um, that can't be a four I've just seen since we got this. Six, four, two, nine. Where's one? One is not in the cage. <laughs> I was panicking there. Um, we've got a nine there, so that's sorted out seven and nine. I just hadn't seen it. These can't have a two in, so the two in the column is there. This is a three, five pair in the column. Now in the, in the region, this is a seven, eight pair. In fact, we know what they are. One, two, seven, eight, nine, four. This is three or five, I think, by Sudoku. Sees every other candidate. That gives us a pair in the box. And we can then write in four and two in a Renban region that needs a three. This is five or six. This is five or six, but we're just going to stick a five in there anyway, so now we know that's a six. This is five, that finishes off box seven, and box four, I think we've finished off box one as well. We're in good shape. This can't be two, three, or four now in this row, so it's five. Right, these sticky outy cells are the same as these cells that aren't blue in box two. So that must be one, four, five, six. And that gets us two more digits. Um, 
that seven five pairs resolved. I think we're sort of finishing off. This is four, seven, and eight. Now that clearly can't be eight in the diamond. We're not quite finishing off. Let, let, let's not jump ahead of myself here. That one is sitting there. It's a seven or eight. Oh, there's a seven in this box, so that's a four. Seven, eight pair here. That includes a seven, eight pair in the column. A column that now needs two, three, and five to be placed in it. And I don't know where those digits go. Uh, so this cage doesn't have anything less than a four in. Ah, this one can't be five, six, seven, or eight. So that's a nine. Now we can't replicate nine and we can't have five or six. So we've got a seven, eight pair. This is a four, seven, eight, nine region. That's seven, eight pair. We're going to still have to place two, three, and four in the region, in the column, not the region. Be specific. Uh, this, don't know. Well, no, we know it's not a one, two, three set. That is two, three, or four, and the lowest in its region. That is two or three, and the only in its region. We've got two, three, or five here. One of those is a four, and I know where it is. It's in the center of the grid. It's not the center of a galaxy, though. That is two, three, or eight. Eight, as is the bottom cell in the column. Um, do I need to think about this? Yes, I need to avoid repeats in it. Oh, that's quite interesting. Where's that going to go? Whatever it is, where's it going to go in box nine? It's got to go there. So that's not a five and that's not a four. They are the same and they're also going to go here in column seven. And now I've got a two, three pair in box nine, and that's a four. That's weird. Okay. I had a two, three pair in the column, apparently, as a result of that work as well. This is an eight to complete the row. That fixes seven and eight, which I never had to color. Now I've got a two, three. That's an eight on that galaxy center. This is a seven to complete its galaxy. Maybe I'll be colouring twos and threes yet. Oh, that's a seven, that's an eight, that's a seven. Always looks odd, that white dot not being consecutive numbers, but I did explain that that's not what we're looking for here. Okay, everything is pencil marked. I probably need... Are there any more Renban cages that I haven't used? I don't think so. Maybe I need to use anti-Renban in a white cage, or maybe I just need to do some Sudoku. We are nearly finished. Right, family dinner will be saved. That's a 2-3 pair, so that's an 8. Well, this has to be an anti-Renban. In fact, that is now 2 or 3 in the box. So that's a 5. That's probably been obvious for a while. Ah, this can't be a 2 because it would be less than the number in the, tri in the diamond. Ah, so it's a diamond play. So one of these is a two, and that isn't. One of these is a two. Oh, there's only one place for four in this column, and that's in the corner. We get no threes in the corner. They were unable to prove their positions. Um, we've got a two, three in green, so that's a five, and that's, that's going to finish off box six, and I think everything else. We can do green, we can do yellow at the top, we can do bright blue down there. This becomes a three to complete the row. Five and two. That's a two, that's a three, and two more cells to go. And let's hope I've got everything right and we've completed our galactic map. We have. 42 people have done that in the last month and a bit and I bet they enjoyed it as much as I did throughout. That's really good fun. Um, I've still got time to boil the carrots. Right, thank you very much for watching. That is an absolute pleasure to solve. Great puzzle today. Um, and a pleasure to bring it to you as always. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.